Hey guys, my name is Zeniak and welcome back to another episode of Cabin Crew Simulator here on Roblox. So today, your boy has found something out which is going to completely change how you now board the planes. I have found out how you can now make maximum money with maximum passengers, but be able to board the plane twice as quick. And you might be wondering, um, what is this damn folio on about right now? I'm about to show you right now. I'm about to show you. So this method only really works really well with the planes that have an upstairs and downstairs, which is then pretty much the 747 and the A380. I almost forgot what the plane was actually called then for a second. Uh, it does kind of work still with planes that just have single floors, but the method for that is a little bit difficult, but you don't really see much benefit. It's mainly for planes of an upstairs and downstairs right now. Now, how this works is you need to make one floor, one class, a second floor, a second class. And you might be thinking, wait, wait, what? Can't you just make it all the same and it works? I'm going to get onto that in just a moment, boys. I'm going to get onto that in just a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a flight right now. And we're going to select Fools Air. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to the A380 because this is the one it works the best for. It still works for the 747 and other planes. But you first have to understand how double jetways work. Once you understand how the double jetway process works, then it makes things so much easier and it makes you then realize, oh, I now figured out and I now understand how I can board two times as quick. So when it comes to a double jetway, right, they walk through and then they split into two. On a plane of an upstairs and downstairs, the left hand of the jetway goes to the bottom floor, the right hand goes to upstairs. That's how the double jetways work, okay? That's how double jetways work. Now, think about how you do the boarding process. When you board a plane, if you've got first class business and economy, you can always board first class and business at the same time. And it doesn't matter whether they go upstairs or downstairs or any of that kind of jazz right now. That's how it pretty much works. But once you understand that, things start ticking in your boy's head. Now, if I was to change the seat layout, and how it currently is right now, if I just kind of quickly reset it, there we go. If I was to board the plane right now, it will board business and first class first, and then economy has to wait until one of these are pretty much done. Right, so I board up, board up, they go left and right, and it just takes a little bit of time, you've got to wait, and then once it's all done, then you can board economy. Wow. What if I told you, right, what if I told you right now, if you make the bottom floor completely business, so you max it out, right, with minimal leg room, there we go, and then you get 4,360, which is pretty good, and confirm that. I could also change the seats as well to business, like the basic ones if I really wanted to, to maybe squeeze a few more people in, which it kind of has. Perfect. And then economy, if I select the basic seat and change the seat layout for upstairs to being just solely economy right now and confirm that, you'll notice that I can have 372 passengers, which is a lot. I can earn 6,600 big ones right now, which is a lot. But what I've done here is, is I've now split it. I've now said that on the double jetway, the left hand one, which is only for downstairs, only boards business. And the right hand one only boards economy. So you should be able to board them together. They get on twice as quick. And then you have the kind of max capacity with economy and business. Business, you don't really lose that many more seats. But you get the extra bonuses for it being business. You get the extra kind of, you know, fancy ratings because it's business. You see where I'm going with this? Now, if we exit this and we go and create a flight watch how quick this now becomes boys we now board so much quicker so we're going to select this and we'll fly somewhere now remember when it comes to like somewhere like uh santorini or tahiti where you board on the stairs it's just not gonna work okay it's just not gonna work so we'll fly to la let's do something a little bit different right now we got all the options la di da di da di da di da boys and let's go oh hang on with a little bit of lag uh, let's slowly walk over and see how it's all going to go down. Now, obviously, I want to hire all my AI. And I want to make sure that all of them can work in all the levels right now. So, really quickly select all this. They can work in business and economy. 
Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Dun, 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 dun. No disasters. We're boarding from gate six. So we just have to wait right now for everyone to pretty much arrive. But it just makes things so much easier, boys. So much easier. Now, the problem you normally have is, and the reason why you can do it at the same time, is because if you have multiple classes on the same floor, it won't board economy until first class and business are done on the same floor. But because we don't have those on the same floor, they're separate, that's how you can board them all at the same time. So much faster right now. So much faster. So how many passengers have we actually got? We've actually got 304 passengers to get on this plane. Which is quite a lot, but that's how your boy makes that max money. That is how your boy makes that maximum money right now. So we just got to wait for all these seats to kind of fill up, which does take some time. But the only kind of thing going for us right now is we're at gate six. So we save a little bit of time doing that. We save a little bit of time doing that right now. So we're just waiting, boys. We're just waiting for these final seats to be filled up. And then we should be ready to rock and roll and see this in... 4K, or at least 1080p. <laughs> 60 FPS. Right, here we go, boys. Here we go. So, we start boarding business, and straight away, we can start boarding economy. And now, I can board upstairs and downstairs instantly. Twice as quick. We ain't gonna wait, boys. And again, it's all because, right, it's all because we don't have multiple classes on the same floor because you can always board business and first class right this is what you gotta understand you can always board business and first class at the same time and then economy has to wait until every other class on the same floor is done before you can board it and if you got that on multiple floors you have to then wait for both upstairs and downstairs to be done just put economy on the bottom floor business on the top floor right now and you can board all at the complete same time. It's a game changer, boys. And the crazy thing is, because it's business, you don't you you almost have the same amount of passengers upstairs that you would do if it was completely filled up with economy. You would almost have the same amount of passengers. So there's no money difference. You just get the extra benefits and the extra quality kind of boosts and bonuses. Granted, you might lose a little bit because I have selected the weaker seats, but just play around with it. Whatever you feel like is best for you, kind of go with it. But I can now board so much quicker. And we are now watching, you can see right now, we are one third of the way done. I mean, you'll still be waiting right now for first class and business to finish. And at the moment, we're completely filling up half of economy at the same time. Beautiful, boys. Now, does this mean that you can depart on time? Not really, no, because at the end of the day, I've got too many passengers on the flight. I've got too many passengers on the flight for what the game thinks is going to be working for it, but it's kind of hilarious all at the same time. So we're almost uh, two-thirds of the way. We're completely over halfway right now. We're filling the plane up. Economy is only 30 passengers away from being completed, and business is 100. So we've got a lot more business than economy right now. That's pretty good. That's pretty good right now, and we haven't got to wait any longer. Now, the only downside is uh, business. Um, is, do business business also require you to give them like food and drinks and stuff, right? But that's where the extra quality boosts and bonuses come in. Um, or am I thinking, is it just first class? I can't remember, boys. I honestly can't remember. But the main thing is, I've got all my AI that can do the work for me, because you know why? Kind of lazy. Kind of lazy right now. <laughs> But it works, boys. It actually works right now. And I can now board my planes so much quicker. Right, we'll wait for them to finish the boarding process because now that all they're doing is the remaining of the business. And this plane will be in the air in no time. We will service everybody and we will land. And guess what? We can unload quicker, but unloading doesn't really matter in this game. But it would do if it was a multi-leg multi, multi -leg flight. You damn fools. So we've got 50, 60, 80, we've got 80, uh, 50 people left to go. And we are borderline almost there. Let's do this. Now, everyone's on the plane, right? But this is the reason you, this is something you got to think. I, I just realized as well, my business is actually downstairs and my honey is upstairs, which is why, probably why I have more business. But yeah, we got to serve up all the food and drinks right now. But the main point is, I'm not going to push back just yet. 
Because the on-time bonus solely comes from making sure that you close the doors on time. And guess what, boys? We are on time. We are on time by 15 minutes. Have you ever boarded, right? Have you ever boarded an A380 with max passengers on time? I've never done it until now. I told you, it's a game changer. So we have no issues with getting there on time. It's going to be pretty easy. And if I just wait a little bit right now, obviously I can allow the AI to take the time to kind of do everything to get the kind of the quality service bonus boosts and all that jazz. Yeah, it does take a long time for them to serve all the food and drinks, but because I got all the AI walking in both classes, they all default to business first to serve them the food and drinks. I'm telling you right now, boys, I'm telling you, this is a game changer. I'm going to make so much money. I'm going to get the on-time bonuses with max passengers, max quality. The only thing that will let me down is the seats. But at least we know that we can improve the seats. Because I picked the weaker ones to, just to show you how you can get, you know, all this super speedy with maximum passengers. So, again, we play the waiting game. We allow them to, you know, serve all the drinks. And then, pretty much, we will then be ready to push back. Now, we've got to get there. Let me just double check right now on this. We've got to get there by Monday at 8.25 a.m. It's a Saturday. I'll get there Sunday evening. I will get there Sunday evening right now. It's going to be crazy. So they're serving right now the last few drinks from what I can see. This person's got their orange juice. Last few passengers over here getting their drinks as well. And they're going to have to quickly run through the cabin and do the kind of the trash. Now, I could kind of speed up the process as well by just slightly helping out and maybe closing all the overhead lockers. Just little simple things that I can do because I'm so lazy. And then uh, we'll be ready to depart, boys. We will be ready to depart. So we'll go upstairs. Any up here that I've got to do? Because I've also got to do all the kind of, um, you know, the seat belts and stuff on this side uh, upstairs as well. But that wouldn't take too long because there's not that many kind of interactions I've got to kind of get done. But can you see how quick that was? Now I can just relax to really maximize my quality bonuses. So allow them to do the trash. Allow them to do the seat belts. And then we will depart. It's in on a Saturday at 10. Oh, 10, 10, if you want to call it that way, uh, p.m. Saturday evening. Uh, so we we will get there within 24 hours. We, we, we really will because, you know, I've got, you know, the world's best AI and all that kind of jazz. But it just goes to show you right now that you can kind of grind out this little technique on the really, really big plane, the A380, double floors, max passengers, making max money, and you will be on time every time. And then apply that with maybe doing multi-leg journeys where the, where the kind of the... The passengers are already at the gate for the next flight, which then speeds up the process for the next one. I'm telling you, boys, this is a proven method right now where you're going to make maximum money quick by doing a times two boarding speed process. This is your captain. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? It is legit kind of crazy. So now, because we've got max passengers, this is the most time consuming bit. This is the most time consuming bit right now. The fact that we got max passengers means it will take a while to serve everybody. But. AI is super speedy. They won't let me down. They will get it done, baby. They will get it done right now. No questions asked. But again, we've got plenty. We've got like, you know, 36 hours in game time to get this all done. No worries, boys. I'm not stressing. Well, at least yet I'm not stressing. At least yet I'm not stressing. <laughs> So it looks like the majority of my focusing on business first. Is there any up here in economy? Not yet. So it looks like they're focusing, focusing all their efforts on the econ uh, the business side of things before the economy. But luckily for us, there is less passengers in economy. So we don't need to worry too much. Now this AI here right now has started at the very end of this section. So I'm assuming they're going to walk into that section next. That's what I'm assuming anyway. But I'm pretty excited about this. I am pretty excited. Oh my goodness me, I can't believe we have got Max Passengers boarded on time. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous right now, the amount of money your boy's going to be making. Sunday morning, right, it's, it's Sunday morning, okay, boys, I don't have to get there till Monday morning. On a completely maxed out plane... 
like, you know, you can't get any more seats on this if I tried right now. And we're now preparing the cabin for landing. I thought we were going to get there Sunday evening. Turns out, no. It's going to be more like Sunday afternoon at this point, boys. It's going to be more like Sunday afternoon. I can't believe how quick we've done this. So the only thing that's going to let me down right now is the rating that I get. It won't be perfect. You know, because we don't have the highest quality seats and upgrades and all that kind of jazz. But, like I said, you can experiment with it. You can add what you need to add to it and, you know, make probably make even more money than I can even make right now. Uh, but the main thing that we take away from this is... This version of the plane that I've created is the way that you get the most passengers. I can't get any more on unless both floors were economy. But that doesn't matter because if they were both economy, it wouldn't work. Because you can't get twice as many in. They still all go through the same line. That's why it's got to be business and economy. So, you know, it's kind of crazy, isn't it, boys? It's kind of crazy right now. So we're now just waiting then for them to be completely finished. By the looks of it, they're pretty much done all down here. Sometimes you got to double check and make sure there's no disruptive passengers uh, who are being a little bit tricky because you don't realize until it's pretty much all done. Like this person here, can I help you out? Yeah, I think we just still, oh, we're waiting for another AI to come down right now. I'm doing their job for them. How dare I? How dare I? And there's just a couple more just here right now. And I think we're we going to land before midday. We are landing before midday, boys. How is this even possible? Because I boarded times two. Telling you, I know all the secrets in this game. I know. Does this mean I'm a professional cabin crew simulator player? Would this mean that your boy is a professional cabin crew simulator player? Because I know all the little tricks and tips. I don't know. Who knows? Because I don't know right now. I don't know. Right, the plane is about to butter this landing. It needs to butter it. It's a Ryanair. Right, come on. Come on. Beautiful landing. Come on, that was beautiful, boys. That was absolutely beautiful right now. Absolutely beautiful right now. Uh, we're going a little bit too quick. Are you going to slow down? You're going to slow down right now? We're going a little bit too quick, if you know what I mean. But uh, here we are. We've arrived in LA. We have arrived in LA. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to skip the taxiway. I ain't going to beat around the bush. We're going to skip the taxiway, boys. There's no ifs, no buts. I just want to get there right now. And I just want to see how good the rating would have been. And how good it currently is. So, skip to taxi. Here we are, boys. Here we are. And we're just going to wait for these double jetways to attach. Now, while it does speed up the boarding process, it makes no difference to the unboarding pro, the deboarding process, if that's what you're going to call it. Because at the end of the day, right, you only complete the flight by opening up all the overhead lockers. So... That's all I can really say at this point. That's all I can really say. It makes no difference. We're getting people off the plane. Um, so we're going to open a door. We're going to open the door up here. We're now on time by a ridiculous amount of time that we're on time by. And now he's got to go through the cabin and open up all the overhead lockers. This is the most time-consuming bit now of all of this for you to get your money. And it can be the most stressful bit as well because you can feel like you've opened up every single overhead locker. Turns out, no. There was some missing. Like you can see here right now, there's actually some missing. Oh, what a folio. What a folio right now. There's actual overhead lockers missing over here. Let me go back down this side one more. And this will then guarantee that I've got none left. Right. Upstairs has been complete. So downstairs now. Let me get this side all done. It's all done. Yes, 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 yes. Let's just run for the cabin here. And try and get as much of this as I can done. Come on, you fools. Come on. I wish there's a way in which you can speed the process up with this as well. Maybe your boy needs to figure this out for you. Maybe I need to figure out some tricks and tips right now and how you can do all the overhead lockers super quick. What do you reckon, boys? Should you, does your boy need to find out how we can do these super quick right now? Because they're a little bit of a pain, aren't they? They are a little bit of a pain to try and get this all done. But there we go. There we actually go. We actually got 5 out of 5 out of 5 on everything right now. It was all perfect. It was all legit perfect right now. Now, the only way I can earn more money is if I did that in hard mode. Because then you'll get an additional 1.1 times multiplier boost. And I would have made even... I probably would have made like 16,000 big ones. Right, screenshot that because that was amazing. Collect my monies. And there we go. That's simply how you complete flights faster with double jetways with times two boarding speed. Take that information and do as you please. 
what will come next? I don't know. <laughs> but if you did enjoy this, smash a like button down below. And until next time, I see you soon. So goodbye.